Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's tutorial on how to restore iPhone firmware to a uh, iPhone 3G model using Mac. Ok guys, so first first things first, um, what we're going to do is restore, show you how to restore an IPS uh, W file to a um, iPhone. Um, what you need to do first of all is actually, if you uh, get the file to get the IPSW file, and you can get that from my website. So if you open up a web browser, type in 123myit.com in the address bar. All right, go to the menu where it says iPhone, and then click on iPhone firmware. And if you scroll down to the phone that you need, so this is a this part of the website has a comprehensive list of all the iPhone firmwares that have been released and it goes right down to like the very latest one which is the iPhone 5 firmwares um, however the one we want is the 4.2.1 3G model alright so you click on that okay so that's now downloaded and uh, here, here it is here in the um, top right hand corner so what you want to do now is minimize your web browser there and don't open up your calendar. We want to open up iTunes. Okay, iTunes is already here. And what you can do is you can actually click on restore. Or what you can do if you want to actually select your f uh, IPSW file and you want to restore a version of your iPhone, you can just hold down your Alt or your Option key on your Mac, click on restore and then that will allow you to then navigate through to the file and then open the file and then we can restore that here now okay so I'll see what the phone does there if, if you can see that hold that one up there for you to look at Okay, there you go, you can see it's rebooted now. So it says on the iTunes that it's preparing for iPhone preparing iPhone for restore. Right, you get the little Apple logo there. guys what I might do is I might just actually um, just pause the video for a sec there and uh, when something a bit more uh, exciting happens I'll start the video but as you can see here it's um, you can see the bars come up there when that bar gets a bit close to the end and I'll start the video back up so you can actually see what it does when it when it restores All right. okay see you in a sec okay so as you can see the slider bar is almost across the side of the phone and it's just restoring the iPhone firmware now and give that a few more minutes there Just uh, while that's uh, going through, I'll just talk a little bit about um, why you would actually need to, to do this. Where you can, if you have some problem with your phone, let's say you jailbreak it or whatever, 
um, you can follow some of the tutorials on my website for jailbreaking and something doesn't really work out for you, you can always go through and just um, restore these versions of the firmware to your phone and then that will fix any problems that the, the jailbreaking might cause. Um, also if you decided to um, you know, try a different uh, firmware version you can always you know, up, upgrade it or, or downgrade the version of firmware. Um, the, you might run into some complications with uh, the Apple servers not allowing you to downgrade the phone um, but definitely you should always be able to upgrade uh, the firmware alright so then in, in iTunes there it now says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting please leave your iPhone connected it will reboot and once it's rebooted it will be fully restored so there we go so we'll wait that to restart now. And we've got the slider bar back again. see how long this takes. It doesn't seem to be moving very fast. But I'll keep the video running just so you can see what happens. There we go. Moving a bit quicker now. thinking about it and there you go so it's just popped up now iTunes in the in the iTunes there let's see what happens when we click on the device oh there it goes it's coming up by itself okay congratulations your iPhone has been unlocked it says waiting activation on the phone. This may take some time. There you go. It wants us to name it. We could just call it whatever we want. Click done. So I try and keep that phone in there as much as I can. All right, and there you have it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so what we've done now is we have restored the firmware on a iPhone 3G uh, with the downloads from the um, 123 MyIT's website. Um, what might be a good idea is once you find that um, the firmware page, actually save it as a favourite because it does come in handy. Okay, guys. So that's how it's that's how it's done in, with iTunes on a Mac. Uh, if that was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Um, and uh, if you have any feedback or any questions you want to ask. Please leave a feedback on the website. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.